Successful athletes, top models, and famous singers are just a few of the individuals, each glorified and pursued by many, as a symbol of victory, recognition, or conquest. Imagine if someone could buy the rights to kill these same people and display them as a tangible reminder of reward or trophy. Although the thought of this is disgusting to most, it happens regularly. But instead of beloved celebrities, these inhumane killings are happening to the exotic animals of the world, but more specifically, the big cat population. This style of hunting is most commonly referred to as trophy hunting. It may be difficult for you to imagine just what kind of people could pursue this so-called sport. The type of people participating in these huntings are almost always very wealthy. They pay safaris extreme amounts of money to kill the animal of their choice, have it taxidermied, and then put in their homes. Many find it confusing to how these trophy hunters have justifications for their actions. Hunters say that they are only killing the weakest of the large cat populations in turn helping with the conservation and existence of these animals. But in reality, these trophy hunters are killing the large cats that are the biggest and most powerful. An excellent example of the mindsets of these hunters is embodied by the organization Safari Club International. Their mission statement reads, SCI is the leader in protecting the freedom to hunt and promote wildlife conservation worldwide. Safari Club International commonly uses propaganda such as this to make this cruel style of hunting appear as a fun and exhilarating experience. Not many people know about this problem that exists in our world, but last July, the cruelty of trophy hunting was brought to the public's attention. Sisa the Lion, a popular safari attraction in Zimbabwe's Hwangi National Park, was lured out of his protected habitat with bait before American Walter Palmer shot him with a bow and arrow in July of 2015. Cecil was a 13-year-old Southwest African lion named after 19th century British imperialist Cecil Rhodes and the most well-known of his species in Zimbabwe. The head of his pride alongside another male named Jericho, he was first noticed in the Wangay National Park in 2008. As he was famously comfortable around people, it was not uncommon for tourists or researchers to get within 33 feet of Cecil, meaning he ultimately became a major tourist attraction, with wildlife enthusiasts the world over traveling to Zimbabwe in the hopes of seeing him. However, it isn't just animal enthusiasts that travel into Africa for lions, as the animal is also a major pull for big game hunters. And it was at the hands of such a hunter that Cecil died on July 1, 2015. Cecil lived 40 hours before he was shot with a rifle, skinned, and decapitated. Palmer paid $55,000 for this opportunity. Although Cecil's death was unnecessary and inhumane, the negative view of trophy hunting was inflicted among millions of people all around the world. Shortly after Cecil's death, American radio talk show host Jimmy Kimmel said the following about trophy hunting. I mean, I'm honestly curious to know why a human being would feel compelled to do that. How is that fun? The more attention and care surrounding this problem, the sooner it can be destroyed. Besides the pure fact that innocent animals are being horrifically killed, trophy hunting brings another problem upon the big cat population. Big cats are disappearing at an alarming rate. A recent Duke University study says that there are as few as 32,000 lions left in the wild. Leopards are down from 750,000 to 50,000. 
Cheetahs totaled 12,000, down from 45,000. The former 50,000 tigers in the wild is now only 3,000. These dramatically low numbers are not only due to trophy hunters, but a large part of it is. This graph shows the decrease of big cats in the wild since the 1800s to present day. When a hunter kills one of these exotic cats, it sets off a chain of reactions. Because trophy hunters aim to kill the biggest prey, when strong males are taken out of a pack, there is often a loss of leadership and guidance, resulting in the deaths of even more lions. Additionally, when an adult male is killed, the unrest in the pride can lead to more deaths as males compete to lead the pride. Once a new male is in the dominant position, he will often kill cubs fathered by the previous leader, resulting in the loss of an entire generation due to pride. With the loss of an ecosystem's top predator, nature becomes imbalanced. In addition to keeping populations in check, lions also keep species vital and alert. When populations of prey explode, there is a decrease in certain crops. Seedlings cannot grow into trees if there are too many animals eating them before they can grow, which cause whole forests to die out. The human population also relies on these resources. You may be asking yourself, who is helping and what can be done? Many organizations exist that help protect these exotic cats from being innocently murdered by these big game hunters. The Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation is one of the most influential organizations that helps promote the love and respect necessary for big cat survival. Their message is not as much focused on the tragedies of trophy hunting, but more of the awareness that is vital for salvaging these cats' lives. Black Jaguar White Tiger raises awareness worldwide through pictures, videos, and using social media platforms. Although Eduardo Sorreo, the founder of Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation, is professionally trained to be around these exotic cats, he shows their beauty and love through his many internet videos. In Defense of Animals is another program that is working to protect the rights, welfare, and habitats of animals. A large part of their care covers the big cat species. Their mission statement reads, Humans and other animals share many similarities, despite our differences in appearance, forms of communication, and ways of living. As feeling beings, we are united by our desires to seek pleasure and enjoyment and to avoid pain and suffering. This organization understands and promotes the ideas of how important it is to be aware of these animals, the respect they deserve, and their rapid extinction. By now understanding what others are doing to help, it is frustrating to many in the world who care deeply about these exotic cats and the end of trophy hunting, but do not know what they can do to aid their survival. There are many possibilities for people such as you and me to help this crisis. The Indefensive Animals organization, previously mentioned before, has a donation program so they can have enough funds to continue to protect these big cats and other species. It is also beneficial for people to find out if the legislative representatives they are considering voting for are supportive of trophy hunting. Many of the public do not believe that trophy hunting is a big enough issue for it to be discussed between political leaders. But shortly after the killing of Cecil the Lion, Donald J. Trump, the 2016 presidential candidate, quickly defended his sons after they were ridiculed on social media for their enjoyment of trophy hunting. Trump justified his son's actions by stating, My sons love to hunt, and I'm a big believer in the Second Amendment. If society can understand which political candidates promote this gruesome style of hunting, they can then choose leaders who want to end big game hunting, furthering the protection of this endangered species. One of the most important things everyday people can do to stop trophy hunting is talking about the issue. The more it is publicized, the faster it can be fixed. When the killing of a human is broadcast on the news, many are quick to say the problems of the horrific crimes and voice ways they should be stopped. But when animals are grossly slaughtered and later taxidermied into trophies, a silence seems to fall across the lips of these same people. So let's love and protect these precious creatures from the evils of trophy hunting. These animals are quickly going extinct, and big game hunting is most of the problem. Care, responsibility, and awareness in the general public will speed up the elimination of this atrocious sport. If nothing is done to stop trophy hunting, in 15 years or less, we will watch as parents try to explain the popular Disney movie, The Lion King, to their children when there are none left on the face of this earth.